I'm Sean McCabe, I'm president of CBI Polymers, the Asia Pacific Systems Group. Uh, we brought our product over to Japan following the events of 311. We have an innovative product that has been demonstrated and proven in the U.S. over the last two years. And with the events unfolding at 311, we found a way to donate our product uh, to the Japan Medical Association. Our product is, and within the industry, is a peelable coating, a decontamination product. Simply put, it's apply, dry, and peel. It's a polymer, it's a high-tech polymer that encapsulates uh, contamination on a surface and, it, and uh, when dry it pulls the contamination into the film layer and you peel and then you regain control of that of that contamination and you dispose of it. Part of the unique features of our product is that it's a green product. For the first time within the industry we have a water soluble near neutral pH product uh, that can be applied and remove contamination at a very high efficiency. The radiation disaster in Japan from the Fukushima Daiichi plant um, is a lot different from the Chernobyl disaster, which happened 25 years ago. Um, people mostly associate radiation with Chernobyl. And 25 years ago, Chernobyl had a reactor that blew up and set a fire and had radioactivity go all over Russia and Ukraine. Here in Japan, the radiation went down into the water. Okay? There's about a seventh one-seventh of the radiation we saw at Chernobyl here at Fukushima. It's mainly in the water. Now, some of it did get into the air. For instance, it got into this uh, church right here behind me, this church and school, this kindergarten. Um, and a lot of that radioactivity fell on the ground, enough to be a hazard for these children to be around. At this school here, uh, there was uh, an unacceptable level of radioactivity, so much so that out here in this playground, they had to pull the children back in and the children have not left the school until today for about five months. Uh, it just wasn't safe for them to be out here. You know, as is well known, radiation tends to accumulate in concrete. It's hard to wash off. You, you try to wash it off, you get about 30% off um, with water. But out here, it just wasn't safe for the children to be out here. So until today, this is the first time in five months these children have been outside in this playground because the dirt was removed and the decon gel behind me here was used to remove those uh, really hot spots from the concrete. So this has been deconed. This decon gel has been used. You can see the decon gel in the background there. Um, and now this is background. This is pretty much Fukushima background. About 150 counts a minute. Okay. And you can see this is this is just a couple of feet from where we did the decon gel. And you can see it's very high. You know, the kids can see there are a lot of, lot of teaching of the real nature again. And that is, they can feel the wind blowing also for the touching all the bugs and, you know, finding a lot of things, new things. And that's the kids world, you know. Ghosts, they were much happier, much, much, much happier.